Hello, sweethearts. It's your girl, Lilium. And today I'm back with another Lush unboxing, finally. I will be unboxing a, uh, an order that I made and that I'm also going to be uh, unboxing a little gift I got from my brother who went to the US um, recently and he brought me a home present. I'm really sorry if I look tired or, you know, my skin doesn't look so good. Um, I'm kind of tired right now and I think it shows on my face. The reason why I'm so tired is also because I got tattooed all day. I sat for the longest time I've ever sat for. I sat for five hours and I got a huge chunk of my arm done. It was very painful, and but not quite as exhausting as I thought it was going to be, so... I will soon make another video about my tattoo once it has calmed down a little and um, you know right now it's super red I'll just show you a bit of it it is my owl tattoo it is absolutely huge but it's so stunning uh, I absolutely love it but I still kind of had to get used to that it is so huge so it is quite daunting, um, but when I look down my arm, I think, wow, it's beautiful, and then I think, wow, it's so huge. <laughs> but I wanted to do this for you guys anyway, so let's get right into it. The first thing I got was a new perfume, and I really love collecting Lush perfumes, and this one I've been curious about for so, so, so long. And it is the Thousand Kisses Deep perfume. And this one has Myrrh Resonoid, it has Labdanum Resonoid, um, has Osmanthus Absolute, and it is just gorgeous uh, feminine scent. It sort of has a powderiness to it, but yet floral, kind of sweet and uh, orangey, a bit uplifting. And I found the more it stays on my skin, the more intense it gets and it really does last a long, long time. I've been wearing this, as you can see, it's not completely full. I've absolutely been wearing this so much and I've gotten so many compliments on how good it smells and yeah so I definitely say if you like feminine clean warm citrusy kind of scent but still with a bit of powderiness and a bit of florals I definitely recommend you a thousand kisses deep. Let's keep on digging guys and the next thing I have here is Odi Creamy Dreamy, which is an oat milk shower cream, and it says here, Heaven really is a place on earth, and that place is in your shower with this divinely soothing blend of lavender and oat milk. And this does have a very calming scent to it. I've already used it a couple of times. It is thinner than you might think has a very strong scent of lavender and it's very very calming not sweet at all but more like a pure lavender smell the ingredients are rose water it has oat milk fair trade organic cocoa butter organic extra virgin olive oil uh, rose absolute chamomile blue tea tree oil lavender oil and a Starbucks benzoin so a very naturally smelling um, shower cream that is very gentle to your skin and quite moisturizing actually. I really like this. And I'll keep on digging in my box I have over here. And we have it. Finally I got a big tub of big uh, seashell, sea salt shampoo. And it says, have a big hair day. This is like having your hair lifted on a sea breeze. And the smell of this, I, 
I've loved it ever since I smelled it the first time. And it is just jam-packed, as you can see, with sea salt. You know, on the lid, you can see the little pieces of it. Mm, and it just has a wonderful, super intense smell of freshness. Mm, I just love the scent. It has lemon infusion, fresh seawater. Uh, it has hand-harvested coarse sea salt, of course. It has a tooth rack seaweed infusion, fresh organic lime juice, extra virgin coconut oil, neroli oil, mandarin oil, vanilla absolute, or an orange flower absolute. Very intense, um, pure smelling. I wish I could have this in a perfume. I just I adore the scent of big and I've had really good results using big. Since it has sea salt and it does have a lot of lime and lemon juice, I wouldn't recommend da uh, to use it for, for daily use since it can strip your hair quite a lot of it, its natural oils, but for a weekly uh, wash it should be okay. Then I have repurchased something that I've already tried before and it is the Dad's Garden Lemon Tree Body Spray. And it is just pure, straight up citrus in your face kind of smell and just wakes you up and it makes you feel vibrant. And on the front it says, a bittersweet landscape of lemon and lime watered with fresh juicy bergamot and infused with African sunshine. The ingredients are lemon oil, lime oil, bergamot oil, and lavender oil. And it's just, um, yeah, like I described it before, straight up citrus and very summery, refreshing smell. Then I have a beautiful soap. This is the oat soap, I believe. And it smells gorgeous. It smells like a little bit sort of like a dessert of some kind, like yummy smelling almost. It is actually a naked solid liquid soap. On the website it says a handful of oatmeal, a scoop of oat flour, a generous helping of cooling soy yogurt, a splash of soothing oat milk. Uh, combine with a few drops of chocolatey cocoa and tonka absolutes with almond essential oil before dusting with a generous layer of warming cinnamon powder. Stir together for the perfect recipe to start or end your day just right. The ingredients are oat milk, cinnamon powder, soy yogurt and uh, cocoa absolute. It also has extra virgin coconut oil, it has organic castor oil, fair trade organic cocoa butter, and oat flour, oatmeal of course, and uh, bushu oil, almond essential oil, so a ton of different um, oils in this. And it smells just delicious and I love that it's designed like this. Kind of like, you know, a soap pump, except it's just a liquid soap. Uh, sorry, <laughs> except it's just a solid soap. It smells really yummy. A uh, very comforting scent. I'm sure I'm gonna be enjoying this. Then I decided to buy a, another hair mask, and this is huge. And on the thingy, it says how to use it. You just boil some water, stir it in, wait for it to cool down, put it on your hair for 20 minutes and then you just rinse off and this smells like mint toothpaste like very fresh and stuff and I'm a big fan of mint so this smells absolutely amazing and on the website it says about you you want the real news about this hot oil treatment sea salt gives you volume Fact. Your jojoba oil gives shine. Fact. Gorgum gives conditioning. Fact. 
All together, they give you hair conditioning and extra volume fact. We are gonna make you pay for it fact. <laughs> and the, it has a lot of ingredients. You can see here. It has spearmint oil, organic jojoba oil, coarse sea salt, and extra virgin olive oil. It also has cream of tartar and peppermint powder. So I'm really looking forward to trying this. I tried the new hair treatment uh, for damaged hair, but then I got a haircut, and so I couldn't really save my split ends anymore. So I just had to give in and go to the hairdresser. But this does look pretty cute. Just stands there like this. <laughs> then I have, which was pretty much the only Father's Day product that I kind of wanted to try, um, which is one of my favorites and it's something I know that I love, which is the uh, Naked Shower Gel, uh, Dirty Shower Gel. And it just, just smells great. That's how it looks. Fresh as uh, spearmint and uh, mint and it's just so fresh and I love to wash with this. Also a lot of guys I know they really love the smell of dirty. I typically just cut them into pieces and use them in the shower like I rub it on a loofah or something. I find to just use the chunk like this is too um, yeah, unhandy in a sense but I like that you can cut up pieces and bring with you on holiday and so you don't have to bring liquids with you and get you know little plastic containers and it does save a lot of uh, plastic and stuff so the naked packaging is all great um, but I would you know recommend to cut off slices and use it gradually instead of like the whole thing on your body on the website it says about uh, the Naked Shower Gel Dirty Spring Wash. Get naked and take a dip in a cool mountain spring. Draw a deep breath and feel a menthol crystal and spearmint oil chill as a refreshing wave of thyme oil washes over you. Lather up for bright and uplifting washes that cleanse the mind and skin before stepping out into a new clean world where plastic bottles are a thing of the past. Among the ingredients are spearmint oil, thyme oil and menthol crystals. The next thing I ordered is Handy Guru Guru hand cream which I have tried before but I felt like my hands needed a bit of extra help getting moisturized so um, it says on the front here a very butter rich cream made in response to customers telling us they wanted a heavier hand cream to tackle hard work tens and since I am a bartender sometimes also I am um, you know I do deal with a lot of glasses a lot of dishes and whatnot I wash my hands a lot so it tends to you know dry them out a bit as you can see and I really wanted to order this one again because the last time I got it it was during the winter time but I think it can also be used during the summer that's how it looks very thick it doesn't come out it smells lovely light um, and it has um, a shea butter Fresh organic lemon juice, vanilla absolute, rose absolute, chamomile blue oil, organic evening primrose oil, organic peanut butter, organic pumpkin seed oil, or sorry, just organic pumpkin seed butter, <laughs> organic cashew butter, organic almond butter, oak moss extract, um, has a whole lot of butters in there and it's absolutely divine and I really recommend this hand cream to anyone who wishes to restore moisture back to their hands. It's really really good. The next one I have here is one of my favorite cleansers. Um, probably the um, my favorite one is probably Aquamarina still but I decided to get a little pot of Let the Good Times Roll which uh, has popcorn in there for some exfoliation 
and it has a maize flour, glycerin talc, corn oil, polenta, fair trade organic cinnamon powder, gardenia extract, and popcorn. And it says here on the side, amazing gentle cleanser. We popped, popped corn oil, uh, polenta, maize flour, and cinnamon in there to get you ready for close-ups. And this smells so edible and delicious. Um, oh my god. You can definitely see the popcorn in there. It's really soft. And it just smells absolutely amazing. And I'm going to use to cleanse my face today since I could use a bit of help with some breakouts and whatnot. Lastly, I got me a pot of Dream Cream hand and body lotion. And on the front it says, Hello, is it me you're looking for? Life partner for sensitive skin. An elegant, simple formula that lets your skin blossom under its care. Now, in a self-preserving formula, cooling and soothing cream is designed to go on even the most sensitive and easily upset skins. So this is very good for me since I have eczema on my hands and I do have very sensitive skin. The ingredients are organic extra virgin olive oil, rose water, fair trade, organic cocoa butter, rose absolute, chamomile blue oil, tea tree oil, lavender oil, tincture of benzoin, and I actually have grown... In the beginning I didn't like the way that dream cream smelled, but I got a sample of it not so long ago and I just like, look how thick this is. It just doesn't come out. And it smells like uh, OD Creamy Dreamy. It smells exactly the same to me. And it's very very thick and, and lovely. Here, the texture here is, you can see, super moisturizing. I'll not be using it on my tattoo though, just because uh, it does have some stuff in there. I'm not sure if my uh, skin would agree with it, since it's basically just one big wound right now. Um, but in due time, when it has surface healed and stuff, I'm gonna keep moisturizing it and protecting it. And maybe Dream Cream would be a nice companion to do that. Lastly, we have some samples, which I always ask for. And first of all, we have a little chunk of Waves Solid uh, Shampoo, which smells great. Very fresh and, and lovely. And we have some Handy Kuroko Hand Cream. Nice for putting in my purse and refilling it and stuff uh, for when I bring it with me to work. We have Mint Julep's uh, lip scrub, which I already have a pot of. Absolutely love it. It uh, tastes like after eight. And we have Pink, pink Peppermint <laughs> foot lotion. And now for summer, be really lovely. And it really is pink. And smells super... Um, I think it actually has glitter in there. Or is that just me? I'm just gonna put a bit of my hand and we'll see. No, okay, it was just me. <laughs> it doesn't have glitter. But I mean, mm, it smells like... It smells like sort of like peppermint chocolate. Mmm, that is yummy smelling. I might consider buying some, some of this. It smells really, really good, and my feet need like an overhaul. Lastly, we have some silky underwear dusting powder. Uh, this I don't have, or I haven't purchased this before. It has a very subtle uh, vanilla sort of cocoa scent. And something else, I can't quite put my finger on it. 
but it does smell lovely. I will, uh, I will say that. So this is all of the beauties all together. There's so much stuff and it was quite a big order, but I haven't ordered from Lush in quite a while, so I figured it was gonna be okay. I kind of deserved it. This next little uh, cute box I have to open for you is called Butterfly and I got it from my brother and uh, as a little gift since he went over to the States to visit his um, girlfriend and um, I was really happy with this. <laughs> it's so cute. And inside here has a little pamphlet, it says Butterfly, with the list of the things that we find in here. So there are these three items that I'm going to show you now. One of them is one of my uh, is 100 grams of my favorite uh, body scrub or shower scrub <laughs> and uh, it's called Rub Rub Rub. And it's an amazing color and it smells amazing too. Look at that. So blue and amazing. And that's not just my camera doing this, it's really this blue in real life. <laughs> it smells really gorgeous. And it has some fine sea salt, fresh organic lemon juice. And it has jasmine flower infusion, mimosa absolute. Orange flower absolute and jasmine absolute and lemon oil. You just rub this all over your body and shower, and you will feel this is amazingly softening. And I don't know what they did to this, but your skin is so soft and silky afterwards, it's incredible. So I really love this. Then I have another little uh, dream cream for travel use. Um, and I think this is a really good size pot to travel with. And again, I listed the ingredients earlier. And the final little thing we have in here is the Plum Rain shower gel, which I absolutely love. It has these juice, this juicy, sour, sweet kind of smell to it. And it just makes your mouth water. On the front here it says, the forecast looks energizing with a sweet fruity blend of fresh plum juice and Sicilian mandarin oil. And the ingredients are, oh there's some, it's a bit weird here in the back as you can see, it's kind of weird, but I will say it has. Uh, yeah, plum juice obviously, um, it has umeboshi um, plums, osmanthus absolute, petit grain oil, uh, Sicilian mandarin oil, so yeah, umeboshi infusion. <laughs> so it's kind of thick, as you can see here it comes all the way up like this, and it is some um, a little goes a long way. It smells fresh, juicy and sour kind of. It makes your mouth water a bit like a fresh juicy plum. So that was my huge uh, Lush haul and unboxing for this time you guys. With loads of goodies, samples and a little gift. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and I will look forward to making another video for you soon. Bye bye!